Hey everyone, so today I want to explore how to use Google Sites in conjunction with Google Classroom. I came up with the idea because I just recently did a little review of the new Google Sites platform, which I find to be fantastic. And, and one of the things I really like about it is the, the integration of Google Sites with all the other Google apps that are available. When you think about how the Google Classroom is delivered to students, it makes a lot of sense to combine both. So let's take a look. Okay, so here you're looking at a class that I set up in Google Classroom, uh, create a video in iMovie for iOS. Yes, I was audacious enough to integrate Apple with Google. And as you can see here, I have several topics set up as a way to divide my class into sections. I have an introduction, a planning stage, tutorials for students to watch, and then a final stage where they submit their video and take a quiz. Uh, what I want to basically show you, though, is not the, the content of the course so much, but the, uh, the content that you set up in general when you are creating a class. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. And you can see here you have different options. You can set up an assignment, a quiz, uh, you can ask a question, and, and so forth. Uh, what you're going to discover when you're setting up one of these assignments is that ultimately what you're really adding are links or hyperlinks. So for example, let me actually just go into one of these uh, prompts or assignments to demonstrate this point. So I'm going to go here and just edit this particular one. And as you can see here, I have created an outline as one of my prompts or assignments. And down below you see there are resources that I've added. In this particular case, these are links to actual pages I set up using Google Sites. As a matter of fact, every resource that is set up is linked to a Google site, which is, as I'm proposing, can serve as a central depository for all of your resources. It can help keep your students focused and, and, more, and keeping your content centralized as you distribute your content to your students. So when you look at the Add tab here, you see that basically you're accessing files that are on Google Drive or in some cases you're sending links to external websites. Either way, every last one of these elements are essentially hyperlinks. Uh, hyperlinks to web pages can be a lot more efficient than simply linking to various different documents or sources. It's more sporadic that way. A website could actually integrate that function. Now let's also look at the Create button. The Create button, you see what you're actually linking to are Google applications. So you're being prompted to actually set up a project or resource using one of Google's apps. Now, the reason why I'm pointing this one out is because these apps that are listed here are, can all be integrated into Google Sites. So not only can you integrate links into a Google Site, that is, have the links go straight to the Google Site web pages, but you can also integrate any one of these apps into a Google web page thereby making Google Site a central depository for how your students access resources. Okay, so here is a sample Google Site that I set up. And this is where I also have all of those uh, iMovie Classroom projects stored on the pages on this site. Uh, right away, you can see that I have at the very top uh, what is called an announcement or announcement button. When you click on that, I'm sending people directly to the class, so in case students wind up getting lost, they can always find their way back to the class. But what I'm going to actually do is just go straight to the class. Um, this is the, actually the interior part of the site. When I go to Pages, you can see all the pages down below, which are hidden from the navigation bar, are the pages that I have set up specifically for this class. Now what's really cool too is you can actually just set up an entire site just for a particular class. Um, that would be the ideal way to do it if you were a teacher, uh, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Let me go ahead and just go to what my website looks like when it's published. So you're looking at the site now, uh, and I'm going to go to those pages that I have set up for this particular class. Um, here I actually have a link to the classroom resources from this page here, uh, but this is actually where the page, the resources begin uh, as far as the links that are set up with the Google Classroom. So this is the introduction, so students get to watch this introductory video that I put together. And then down below, I have the class assignment. 
So here they can go to plan your project, which is one of the, the next assignments that I have listed in Google Classroom. And they can access the outline from here. And then they can also submit their outline. So in this case, I set up an outline using Google Forms. And what's nice is they can actually go right in and fill out the form right inside Google Sites without even having to go to the actual form itself because this, this form is embedded in the site. Now there's a little tab in the top right which they can click on which will alternatively take them to the site to, to, to the form to fill out as well. But the benefit of course is that they can fill this form out right inside the web pages. And then this next assignment I have at the bottom is the storyboard. And here I set up some storyboard samples using Google Slides. And as I mentioned before, documents can be added to Google Sites. So in this case, the Google Slide is embedded into this web page. So they can actually view the Google Slide right on the page itself which is very convenient. And of course, in the top right hand corner, they can go to the actual Google slide as well. And again, I have another link for a new movie project. And this is where students are linked to the actual tutorials, which was one part of the classroom uh, topics that I had set up. Uh, but in this case, I just have links at the bottom where people, if they were going in order of the way the videos were presented, they could watch the videos on the pages and click and link to them right from the website without having to go back to Google Classroom to view them. So that's what's really nice. So I'll just quickly go through. I basically have two videos per page. And then I have a button for them students to click submit their videos, which would basically be a link to Google Drive. And they would submit the name, the title, and so forth, and a link to their project, and then submit that to me. Then I also added a quiz, which I also use with Google Forms, which they can also fill out right here on the site, or they could click the button in the top right corner to access as well. And I uh, also have a link on some of the pages here that can also take them back to Google Classroom so that they can stay in sync with the assignments as they are accessing the resources on the website. So I, I think that this is a really nice option, especially when if you sit down and explore just how integrated all our resources are inside Google Sites, you can see what a nice complement this can be for a Google Classroom assignment. Anyway, I hope this was interesting to you and I hope that you find this helpful, especially if you are an educator and you're looking for more efficient ways to teach your classes and reach your students. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to Tim B's Tech Talk. You can catch me at timbeastechtalk.com. Um, and who knows, in the future, you may be able to reach me through a number of Google sites that I plan to set up in the future.